Hi guys, it's me, Emma, and today I have a squishy package that I've been waiting for freaking ever to open. Here it is right here, and let me tell you guys why I'm really, really not happy with this. Alright, so I bought it off of some guy named Jake on Mercari. Like, I'm going to name drop if I want to, sue me, whatever. Um, so he shipped relatively quickly, definitely within, I think, two to three days, and... Everything was fine and dandy until the day it got delivered. Now, I am at a university, so I'm at school full-time, and then I work part-time, so I'm not on campus or in my room the entire day, so I can't always be there to pick up my packages, which actually get delivered to the school post office, which is trash, so I never get my packages anyways. So, that's not even too big of a deal. Like, I'll pick it up my own time, but... If you're a seller and you message me going, I saw the package was delivered today. Please rate me now. Okay, that's fine. So I explained to him that I work and I won't be able to pick up my package. And besides, it hasn't even scanned in yet. So I can't pick it up, even if I want to. And he goes, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> he says, just rate me. Otherwise, it'll be rated in three days, and you won't get a rating. Guys, I have 140-something, um, I have 140-something five-star ratings on Mercari. I don't need another rating. Like, this kid needs a rating. He only had, like, I think 20 or something. Um, so he has the nerve to go, ugh, just rate me already, which, first of all, is so rude. Second of all, that's so sketchy. Like... I just received the package, it's not damaged or anything, so that's good, but what if he had like pressured me into raiding, and then I got like a package that was torn up and crap. So I was not very happy with him, I ended up blocking him because he sent another message, something like that, he's like, I packaged it super nicely, like just rate me already, and I told him, I'm not going to rate until I get the package, which I didn't, and Mercari just auto-rated him, so whatever. Alright, that was a very long story, but moral of the story is don't be super rude to your customers. Let your customers rate you in the time that they're allowed to rate you. Like, if you're allowed three days to ship, then your customers are allowed three days to give a rating. Capiche? Alright, let's see what's inside. I was really excited for this, but now I'm kind of like, bleh, I kind of just want to resell this and like never see it again. Um, so here is all the squishies. Um, he sent this as a little extra, just a little eraser, and then one piece of memo paper, and... I think this is a scratch card, so that's a very interesting um, collection of extras. Alright, let's move on to the squishies. So, there is a very nice assortment in here. Alright, the first thing is this poly bun. Now, I don't remember how defected it was in the pictures. I'll try to put it up if I care to remember. But other than the head pin missing, um, it's in pretty good condition. Don't mind this nail, like, it's just gone. So there's no, like, other defects. And I don't know why he, like, ripped it out, but whatever. To each their own. I look so creepy in the background. I'm so sorry, guys. I'll try to cover my face. Alright, and I know these are supposed to smell super good, and I'm creepy, so. That smells fruity. That is so weird. Because it has like a little milk bottle on it. I don't know. Comment down below if you know what this one is supposed to smell like. Because it doesn't smell like bread. It kind of smells like um, like a fruity drink, like a pina colada. So that's very interesting. All right, now this guy was super cute. I really like the style of chigiri bread. Look how creepy I am. Okay. Anyways, here is the uh, Karomi one, I believe. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing all of these names wrong. This one's really soft, really slow rising. And again, the only defect, I don't know why this kid just like pulls them all out, but whatever. Oh dear, he put them all in this bag and it's been in the bag for a while. So all of them are kind of smelling the same, which kind of sucks. But it'd be like that, especially when your post office takes forever. So this one is super cute. I really like that. All right. Next is this cream puff. I'm not sure what brand this is. Okay, 
it says Nick right there. And of course, missing the eye pin iconic. And yeah, smells the same as <laughs> the poly bun. Very nice. Right now, this guy was super cute. I don't know what character this is, but it's licensed by Jellyfish, which is a brand I am not familiar with at all. Okay, so when you squish it, it kind of feels like a stress ball, but it is definitely way more slow rising than I thought it would be. Missing the eye pin, of course. Um, cool. <laughs> Smells the same. I don't know why I keep trying. <laughs> I am the definition of insanity. Right, that's very cute. Oh my gosh! <laughs> This one is so destroyed! Dude, how do you even do that? Oh my gosh. Um, but otherwise, this is the softest squishy, like, freaking ever. Do you guys see that? I think I just pulled out, like, a dog hair or something, but yeah, okay. Smells the same, don't know why I tried. I'll try to air these out and see if the smell, like, changes. Oh my gosh, but this is the softest squishy, like, possibly ever and it makes that lovely sound oh my gosh there's no licensing on this so i guess it is just like a pusheen brand squishy oh this one's a lot more defected if you guys can see that but it's not too bad all right and then the last one is this big old panda and surprisingly there was no eye pin to begin with so he didn't have anything to tear out nice um this is an eye bloom squishy guys you know that I've been gone from the squishy game for a while. Um, I did not even know that I Bloom like came out with this character. It seems kind of it seems kind of boring is what I was trying to say. But this one smells pretty generic. I want to say um, there are some defects, but as I Bloom is always, it is very soft and slow rising. And very cute. Do, do, do. All right, so um, you guys know me. I'm a major pessimist, so I want to like these squishies, but I really don't. So you guys can probably catch these on my Mercari very soon. Um, I'll just sell these off because I don't want them. I think I'll keep this one, though. I really like it. It's so cute. It's like pastel, and I don't know. This style of bread is just so cute. All right. Comment down below what's your favorite one. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, my views are dying. And like up this video. Turn on my post notifications. And maybe someday I'll return to Instagram. Alright. Bye.